Hey everybody, it's Lindsay with High Altitude Astrology bringing you another video and today I want to talk about Easter and I want to talk about it from an astronomical understanding. First let's just remember what Easter is all about today. It's in the Christian tradition the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Um, there's other religions that celebrate during this time. There's Passover for the Jewish religion and my perspective is to understand it from uh, an astronomical place and basically a lot of holidays that we celebrate today, that religions celebrate today, have their basis in pagan uh, rituals that were happening uh, a long time ago and these rituals were based on the movement of the planets and the sun and the moon. So specifically Easter, which actually changes every year its actual date because it is astronomical. What it is, is it's the first Sunday after the full moon, after the spring equinox. So in fact today, Saturday, March 31st is the full moon and tomorrow is Sunday, April 1st and therefore it's the celebration of Easter. So that's why some years it'll be on one day and other years it'll be on another day. So it truly is based on astronomy. And what's interesting about Easter is that uh, you find some symbols associated with it. Uh, one is the uh, Easter Bunny. Now what's that all about? So the word Easter actually comes from a Germanic uh, festival celebrating springtime and this was referenced uh, by a Christian scholar, the Venerable Betty, in 700 when he noted that a pagan festival that the Saxons were celebrating honoring springtime and their earth mother goddess Oestre. E-O-S-T-R-E and that her, patron, her patron saint was the hare or the bunny. So that's how we get the Easter Bunny associated with this time of year. But then also why is the egg associated? Easter uh, bunnies don't lay eggs but uh, if you look back in history actually 2,500 years ago there was uh, an, a group called the Zoroastrians and they painted eggs for their New Year celebration around this time which happened to fall on the spring equinox. So pagan cultures and religions throughout the century, centuries incorporated the egg with their springtime ritual since it not only was edible but it also symbolized new life and the womb itself from which all humanity emerges. So it's interesting to look at yet another holiday that really is based on uh, traditions that were established, rituals that were established by uh, groups of people long time ago who were following the patterns of uh, the planets and the sun and the moon and they were using it to um, basically tell time and they were celebrating, you know, they were celebrating when when the sun, uh, like the spring equinox, was returning and celebrating at the full moon time after the spring equinox, which is what Easter is, because the full moon is about uh, the culmination of something, you know, the full moon is when, when the energy is really strong and heightened and so this was a time after the spring equinox to really uh, to really celebrate you know the the fullness of of this time of year so thanks so much for listening to my understanding of Easter if you like my channel please subscribe I also do offer readings you can reach me at info at highaltitudeastrology.com I hope you all have a wonderful Easter thanks so much for watching adios